Hey, Norm, congrats on the win. Um, Thank you. It sounded like uh, executing against the zone was a focus in, in practice yesterday. It's something that you guys have been working on quite a bit over the last week, especially after seeing Charlotte and, and a lot of the zone uh, a few games ago. How do you feel you guys were able to attack it tonight? I thought we did a good job, you know, not getting stagnant, not letting it slow us down. I mean, we do had a few stretches uh, in the game, which is, is going to happen. But uh, for the most part, I thought we did a great job of moving, cutting, um, shifting their defense when they uh, went to the zone and uh, being able to make plays uh, <clears throat> off our movement. Coming off a, a loss like you guys had the other night, I mean, as one of the leaders on this team, what – is the mood in the locker room? What's said going into a game like tonight in terms of bringing the effort or, or the, the type of performance that you guys didn't bring the other night? I mean, uh, you know, Coach got on us um, in film, you know, in between the games. Um, and uh, every film session uh, pregame, uh, he was on us defensively. Uh, we came out in our effort. Um, when we came out, I just told him, I don't got much to say. You know, we saw the film. Uh, we saw what we need to do. You know, we got to be together, tied in uh, defensively for a full 48 energy and effort on that end and everything else to take care of itself. Uh, I did give him a long winded speech before we ran out there for pregame. Thanks a lot, Norm. Have a good night, man. Thank you. Next question goes to Michael Grange from Sportsnet. Hey, Norm. Uh, nice game tonight. Uh, if I could just ask a question that um, not related to the game. Yeah. Um, you know, Monday is, is, or this coming week is weekend and Monday is a big moment. Uh, the first anniversary with the death of Kobe and, uh, you know, the other people in tragically uh, on that helicopter. And, um, you know, your connection with him is, is pretty strong. And, and, and one thing I wanted to ask is what kind of influence do you think he, he left for, for younger players in the league when you look at People always talk about that Mamba mentality. You've got like understand the grind, but just the level of professionalism and maybe the level of commitment it takes, you know, if one of the very, very best who ever did, did it uh, kind of approached his profession that way, what, what message has it sent to people throughout the league? Uh, in absence? I, I think he left uh, for speaking of myself and my feelings towards, you know, his legacy, uh, his career and just how he was on and off the court. Uh, he left a blueprint on how to be, you know, and not <clears throat> trying to be like him, but being the best of yourself, your own version. You know, um, I talked about it a few times, you know, watching his interviews uh, <clears throat> growing up and as a plate, you know, he always talked about dancing beautifully in your own box, you know, and that's the uh, just the focal point of trying to be the best that you can be, you know, and uh, the circumstances that you're in and <clears throat> whatever you're trying to achieve. Um, like I said before, you know, part of my understanding grind um, is fueled from that mama mentality. Um, you know, so, I mean, it's going to be a tough day. It's going to be a weird feeling. Um, it's tough, but I think um, he's left uh, a mark on, on basketball and, on, and off the court of inspiring people to go out and find their own uh, passion, their own uh, drive. And like I said, being the best um, while trying to pursue that, you know, doing everything you can to pursue excellence. Do you think the league is, is in a better place? It's hard to know what it would be like without Kobe. I mean, he was, you know, he was, he was everything in the league for about nearly 20 years. But um, do you think that example and, and the way people have been forced to study it, even tragically, you know, after the tragedy makes the league a better, a better place, a better workplace? Um, uh, yeah, I think so. You know, I think you see uh, a lot of guys and how they approach uh, everything. You see bits and pieces of, of Kobe's imprint on the league everywhere, you know, top to bottom. Um, he was just such a dynamic person. Uh, uh, not only his game, his game speaks for himself, but it's his personality. You know, his grit, his toughness, uh, his mental um, state, you know, on, on whatever situation he was in. Um, you see that, you know, uh, of him trickling that knowledge and information down to the league um, and the younger players and even some of the, the older superstar players that you've heard come out and talk about what Kobe meant uh, to them. Um, so, yeah, I think you still see it in the league today and you'll see it for a long time. No, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Next question goes to Aaron Rose from SI.com. 
Hey, Norm, congrats on the win and a, a big night. Um, we could sort of tell that Nick wasn't thrilled in his pregame media. And it sounds like from what you just told us, the last few days have been rough. Um, how often do you see that other side of Nick? How often does he get on you sort of like he did the past few days? Um, I probably get it like once or twice a year. I mean, that side of him uh, tends to happen. I mean, <clears throat> Uh, previous seasons, you know, we, we've had a better record and better outings, things like that. You know, it's probably like one or two games, uh, maybe even three games throughout a season. Um, we get a little stint um, where uh, you got some slippage and things need to be picked up. So, you know, he gets on you uh, to remind you, you know, what we need to be doing to stay at a high level of competing and winning in this league, you know, and, you know, the season been, you know, ups and downs and close ones and things like that. But, um, uh, our compete level can never um, waver, you know, no matter what the situation is, we got to go out there and give ourselves the best opportunity to win the best uh, chances to win, um, you know, and uh, he reminded us of that. Um, a, a quick two-parter. D did you think that that last performance sort of warranted um, one of these once or twice a season kind of um, speeches? And how did you think you guys responded? Um, yeah, definitely. You know, watching the film, especially defensively and how we are all were top to bottom, uh, myself included, you know, um, the multiple efforts that we usually normally make being tied in, helping one another, you know, it wasn't there. You know, it wasn't there when you're watching it on, on, on film as a team. And <clears throat> it was bad. It looked bad. It felt bad. Uh, even though it was a closed game for most of the part, a lot of the reasons why it was so close was mistakes that we normally don't make, you know. Um, yeah, so it was definitely warranted and um, there wasn't much talking. You know, like I said, after that first film session, it, there wasn't much talking um, amongst the players. Like, like Aaron, Aaron came out and said it, like, like we have enough lip service. You got to go out there and do it and execute. And I thought we was able to do that today. Awesome. Thanks, Norm. Final question for you, Norm, goes to Dick Scanlon from the Associated Press. Hey, Norm, uh, the whole team got off to a great shooting start, and you did too. Uh, when you start like that and you're not starting regularly, does that change your – does that help you relax? Does that put you in a different mindset? Um, I, mean, I mean, I've talked about it before. I think it's uh, a lot of opportunity um, um, just being able to go out there and play. You know, as a starter, you know, you, you know you're going to be out there and uh, – just be able to get a flow and rhythm of the game. Um, but like I said, I always try to uh, play the best of my abilities no matter what the situation is, you know, whether I'm starting or coming off the bench, you know, I tried to, uh, try, I tried to uh, do exactly what the coach needed me, you know, and, and play my best basketball in, in whatever minutes I get out there um, to help the team win, you know, no matter what the situation is, my, my focus will always be on, on trying to help the team win. You know, I'm a team guy. So like I said, I'll always give myself up for the team um, no matter what, you know, 